today I am Puppy because it matches my pajamas and Puppy's also my second favorite pajamas. That's why I like these pajamas. It's nighttime. That's also why I'm wearing pajamas. And um, it's my second favorite animal because my first favorite animal is a cheetah and I don't think anyone makes cheetah pajamas. Oh, I bet somebody does somewhere. Well, and why are you taking over the show? I'm taking over the show so I can tell everybody my top 10 favorite games for 7-year-olds. And not all of them are kids' games. There's some grown-up games. Oh. So you're a, a connoisseur, you could say? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get started. Number 10. Love Letter. Um, my... I like love letter because I like love letter because well I really like the artwork it's like you can tell who's who and I really like guessing who someone has and I think it's really fun. Number nine, Spookies. I like I like Spookies because it's always kind of it's risky and. It's always risky. It's that's and it's kind of hard. You don't know what's going to happen. I like it. And it's scary, but not really. It's scary, but it's not if I think it's good for a kid that likes Halloween, but gets scared easily. Because it's not too scary. Because I mean like it's called spookies, but it's not last spooky. Oh well, good. Number 8. Century Spice Road. I like Century Spice Road because, I mean, like, you have to spend big and little together. And I also like that, I also like that oh, you know, there's these coins, but you only get them for two of the decks, not all of them. I think that's really clever. Number seven, Bye Bye Mr. Fox. My sister really likes playing by, by Mr. Fox, and I like playing with her. And my sister is three years old, so if you have any three-year-olds, that would be really good. Number six, Ice Cool. I like Ice Cool because you move it, but you don't go, like, roll a dice and go one, two, three. You flick it. I really like that. It's a deck skier. Dexterity game. Number five, Soro. I like Soro because it's always so you do it different designs. You know, like you start here, you end up like you end up back there because you can go like woo back there, or you can start here and go and start there and end there. It's just really fun. Number four, color it. I really like color it because it's like one of those relaxing. It's like one of those relaxing games. You can like say, "Hey, would you mind if I do this?" Because I mean, like, because I mean, like, it's a coloring game and also relaxing. So if I want to color, and my daughter wants to play a game, perfect solutions. Seven-year-olds that like to color. And your three-year-old sister likes it, too. So that's a good one for that age as well. Yeah. It's kind of a good one for all ages. Like, I'd say... Three to... Fourteen. Perfect. No, three to... Three up. and Three and up. Because <laughs> my dad likes it. And he is... You probably know... In the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, horrified. I really like horrified because it's so scary, but it's so not scary. It's not like, it's not like, well, it's a good game for Halloween. It's kind of the same as spooky. It's not, if you have a kid that likes Halloween but gets, but gets scared easily, that's a good game. For Halloween, and um, I. And it's cooperative, so we're all on the same team. It's cooperative, and one more thing. 
I really like the monsters. I mean, like, you can choose what monsters, and so you'll have a thing. You either cure them, fight them, or you either cure them, fight them, or capture them, and it's interesting. Number two, Hughes and Cues. I really like Hughes, and I really like Hughes and Cues because, I mean, like, it's a color game, and on your turn, it's, like, really fun to give out a clue of a color you've seen, but also it has to see the certain color. So a color you've seen, that's that color. Like, a thing you've seen, and that's, that's, that's color. So... I really like it. I think it's maybe six to one thousand. Age group? <laughs> Do you know any like thousand year old people that play board games? Me neither. And finally, number one, Heroes and Treasures. I Heroes and Treasures made it to my top because it's it's always exciting, you know? I mean, like, when you go into the room, you never know what's happening. Goblin, no goblin. Go goblin, no goblin. Monster, no monster. If there is a goblin, how big it will be, how small it will be. If it's an ogre. I mean, like, spiders or rats or... And you get to become, like, a fighter or a rogue. And you have to use your special powers? There's no special powers. You just, because you're that thing, you know how to do it real. <laughs> Any last words about that game? You don't really get it. No matter how, no matter how old your kid is, your kid will love it. Love it. Love it. Love Bye, everybody. This is Brian Best on New Board Game Reviews, or as I like to call it, Brian. Or as I like to call it, Puppy and Board Game Reviews. Or Review. Bye. Oh, by the way, subscribe. 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 And last of all, bye. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was interesting. Um, yeah, so that is the list our daughter made. Uh, a bunch of games cut out of left field that she came up with when she made her list. Um, yeah. And there's a mix of kids' games in there, there's a mix of, of grown up games, we call them, but they're really, yeah. you know, family I mean, style games. But that's natural as, as kids, especially gamer kids, get older. They kind of, I mean, she's just in that stage right now where you're shifting and you're wanting to play what mom and dad are playing, or you want to play what your parents are saying, I should say. And, um, and that's just normal. She just wants to play what her parents are playing, um, even if she can't really strategize towards that. <laughs> yeah, please, come at me with Century Spice Road. I'll beat you every time, kid. Oh, my gosh. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. You can find us in all the places. On Facebook, we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. On Instagram, we are Ryan and Bethany. And on Twitter, we are Ryan and Bethany 1. Everybody, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you had a good time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.